Hi there you, my beading friends. I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful lacy seed beads earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't. In this way you will know when I make absolutely free similar videos and you will be inspired often. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You help me so much. Your support is incredible. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with great perks that you could check in description as well. Now without further Further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 on seed beads or you could use 10 on seed beads if you want. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use 11 or 12 if you want. And you could check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and to see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Now let's continue. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back. And I'm picking up one bead that will be my stopper bead. I will slide it down, but I'll leave a small tail here because later I will put my needle on it and finish my work from this side. So this is my stopper bead and I will go through it like this. The tail, it could be 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And now what I want to do is to pick up four white beads. And I will continue picking up beads guys. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to show you the sequence that you need to pick up. Okay guys, and I'm back and this is the sequence that you need to pick up. So this is your stopper bead. As I said, you need four white beads, then you need five red beads, then one gr white green white, then again five red beads, then white green white, then again five red beads and then you need seven white beads. Okay, this is the sequence. Pause this video and pick those up. And then after that, I'm going to continue with my work now. Okay, I have these seven beads here. And what I want to do is go back with my needle through the, the red bead here. Okay. This is what I do. And I pull. Then I tighten up. In my next step, I'm taking three reds. And go through the last red one. And I pull tight. Then what I need to take are white, green, white. And I go through the first of the next five red beads. Okay, you see where I am and I pull tight again. Three red beads go in the last red one. I have this. White, green, white. Go in the first red one. Three reds go in the last red. Two 
three white beads and go here in the fourth white with three whites okay now this is what I have in my next step guys what I want to do is go back in this direction and in order to do this I'm skipping this one here that I'm exiting out of and I'm going through the next two beads so I'm not going through this one but I'm going through these two beads and I pull and then again I tighten up it's important to tighten up okay white and I go here in the middle of these three red beads that I added in my previous row okay just like this then I need a white and two green beads and I'm going here in this middle bead which is a green one then two greens one white the opposite of what I took in the previous step I go here one white two greens middle green two greens one white middle red three white beads and here in the middle of these three whites that are from this side okay so this is what I have now it's easier for me to flip my work like this you could do you could work in the other direction if it's easier for you then again what I do is that I don't go through this bead but I go through the following two white beads I always take three white beads when I go back at each row and now what I want to do is to go through the middle of the next three beads which is this green bead the first green bead three greens go in the last green okay then white red white and go here in the first green which is the middle one of the three that I added in my previous row three greens go here and at each last and each first step I need white beads okay I take three whites go here in the middle of these three beads that I have here this loop of three then I prefer to flip because it's easier for me now what I do is that I skip the bead that's on my way and go through the following two I think you know what comes next because it is the beginning of a new row so a white is in order going through the green then a white one and two red ones and I go here in this middle red one then two reds and a white and go here in this middle green one the end of this row is coming that is why I need white beads and I go here in the middle okay now it's easier for me to flip and now what I want to do is again skip one and go to two beads three white beads go in the first red one three reds go in the last red one last step of a row so I need three white beads 
I go here in this white. Okay, I flip. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the next two. First step of a row, three whites. Go here in this red one, which is the middle one. Three white beads. Go here in this central white. Okay. Flip. Skip one and go through two. Three. And finish this row. And this side of my earring is ready. So now what I want to do is to transfer to the other side of my work. Okay, and here what I want to do is skip this one at the top and go through the following two. And from here on, I will continue the same thing. Three white, go in the central red, white two greens, two greens and white. white two greens two greens and white three whites flip skip one and go through two three greens white red white first green three greens last green and the throw three whites middle white skip one go through two three whites middle green one white two reds two reds one white middle green And the throw three whites. Flip. Skip one, go through two. Beginning of row three whites. First red. Three reds to finish the form and last red. And the throw three whites. Flip. Skip one, go through two. Beginning of row three whites. Middle red. Three whites. Middle white. Flip, skip one, go through two. Last three whites to finish the frame. Okay. Now, what I need, guys, 
is to go in this direction, find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, let's say uh, you could go and tighten up your work if you want around the edges. Then choose a place. Make a loop and go two times through this loop you've made. Then before you pull, make sure you are between those two beads where you started not, your knot from and then pull. Then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. Then I want to come to this side and show you how to finish your work. First, I'm going to remove this bead here at the top. Then I will put my needle here at this end. And uh, what I want to do is to be here exiting out of uh, this bead. Then what I want to take are two white beads, my earring finding and two white beads. And as I'm exiting here, I want to go in this white one or in the next two whites, it doesn't matter. And then I pull. Okay, now I have this. Now what I want to do is reinforce this joint. And in order to do this, I'm going around here one more time through those beads, then again through all of those, okay, let's say I'm making my knot here, make a loop, go once, go second time through this loop and pull, go through some beads and cut your thread. Okay guys, and now my rhombus lacy seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button if you still haven't. Uh, you could also help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting. This is a great support. Thank to all of you that do this. You could check description for a lot of useful resources and you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with great perks. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.